All right, well, it's another beautiful day out here on the uh, job site. So, what we're going to be working on today is what is called ICF, an insulated concrete form. And uh, we'll go through it. Here we have it. So, an insulated concrete form is two inches of insulation on this side, two insulations of insulation on this side. And the rebar will sit in the middle with the concrete and then it's a horizontal and a vertical run and so what we're going to be doing here is this is going to be an integrated footer and wall at the same time so most of the time you're going to pour your footer and then you come back and put your wall on it but we're going to do this at the same time which is going to make it what's called a monolithic core meaning at one time there's no cold joint, there, the concrete won't be able to slip or move or any anything like that. So we'll go over here and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so you'll see the edge of it. This is like a bag almost, and it's going to come up and attach to the side so that it makes a tube underneath it for the concrete to sit. And what's so cool about this is that these pieces here are adjustable so when you look down this line the ground can go up and down whatever but you have that much play of almost six inches for this form to run perfectly flat so it makes it very easy most of the time when you pour your footing the footing has to be perfectly flat for these forms to fit on it because if it's running uphill or downhill then you have to adjust all that and it makes it pretty cumbersome but with this system you have the spacing between each one of these and it allows that form to run perfectly straight there and the ground can be up and down or whatever because the bag will take out all of that and so once you start it's going to be perfectly flat so this is roughly one hour of work already. Between you and me, I'm absolutely amazed and blown away at how fast this stuff is going to go up and how fast these guys work. So. Alright, so what he's doing is that we're look we're locking the blocks together end to end. And so I'll zoom up on it here for you. Here's the seam between our block. And so to keep the block together, they use these pre-made pieces that actually snap it together. And so each time a block has an end-to-end -end piece right here it's held together with these pieces of metal and that keeps the block from sp spreading apart when we pour the concrete. So you'll notice that we're putting on these extra pieces of uh, scrap wood. Uh, it's all by design. These guys do even a little bit of extra support all the way down to the bottom because the amount of concrete and the pressure is pretty great down here. So what we'll do, we have this tie as well, but we also screw in this piece here 
below and then the next block and so this whole connection will stay tight as the concrete sets up and it's done on these lower pieces for each one of them as we go along so that the concrete doesn't have any ability to expand or push or press against anything the wall stays true plumb and straight here's another neat little caveat for this system is the stands that these forms sit on for the first row for the first row so here we go I'll take y'all spin around here and let you look at it we'll zoom up on it here all right sorry for that go. shadows in the way so what we have is literally it's almost like all thread and this uh, they hook the drill on that spin it down spin it up and it raises and lowers it all the way each one of these this stand will be inside the bag and so the concrete will actually cast all the way around it and fill it up and it stays there uh, but that's what keeps the elevation keeps everything nice uh, and straight Excited. This is uh, something that I have dreamt about my entire life to build my own house, and uh, it's happening. And uh, wow, what a deal! What a deal! <laughs>